successfully safely remove the micro SD card from your timer and connect via an appropriate socket or device to your laptop or computer. When you first open the SD card on your computer, you'll see a number of folders. Just simply scroll down until you see an application called Radback Weekly Timer Programmer. Double click that, it opens up the program. Now this is where we do our programming for our timer and it's very very simple. Down here are the events, there's 50 events and there's none in there at the moment because we've just opened it up and it's uh, a new card. So if I double click that little square there, it comes up with the event details. So let's just put a couple in to show you how easy it is. Let's say, uh, we'll call this event morning music. This is something that a school might do. Uh, let's say you want the start at 8.50 in the morning, say. Um, and let's say, I don't know, we want it to go to 8.59. You can be quite accurate with this program. Let's 8.59 and 59 seconds. How about that? I mean, what are we going to do at this point? We're going to output this program here, this event, sorry, to, we've got a whole lot of selections here, different folders and things, but we're going to output to the pre-bell folder, which we've already loaded with music. Uh, and here, what day we want that to go off, you can pick the day, or of course you can just click the weekday box here, and it fills it in for you. Click OK, and now you can see it's put it into the first description here. Morning music, 8.50 to 8.59 and 59 seconds to the pre-bell folder, Monday to Friday. Uh, and let's say the next one is, uh, OK, let's just call this the morning bell. Might as well finish this. Uh, let's say we want the bell to go off at 9 o'clock. Uh, how long do we want the bell to go for? So let's say we want it to finish oh, 09 and 10 seconds, a 10 second bell output to the bell folder which has got mp3 music in it and every weekday again okay now we've got 50 events here and we can keep going I'll do a special one here let's just say uh, we have a, a special sports day so we could preset this up uh, and so we want it to go off at 10 o'clock um, it could be a carnival day or a fete or something 10 hour, uh, 10 o'clock, so 30 minutes here. We're going to output, we've put a special lot of music that we want for this particular event, and we've put it into folder number 5. We're putting it into folder number 5, and let's say it's on the Wednesday. Click OK, and it's put it in there. It's easy to go back and change it, of course, if required, or delete it. Uh, the other thing you'll find is there are other output folders here. You can have no mp3 relay only now on the back of the unit there is a relay output now you might use that to activate something else might activate another music player you have or um, whatever you like so you don't have to activate a folder uh, with the mp3s in it that's something else that uh, you can do now when you finish programming your 50 events it's a good idea to save it so let's save this uh, I'll just call this uh, XYZ school. XYZ school. Uh, save it. All right, so now it's saved. It's a good idea to save the whole contents of your SD card onto your laptop or your computer, whatever you're using, so that you've got a backup. Because the SD card now has to be safely ejected and then put back into the A4500 or the 4505 timer for the uh, for the timer to operate now if you come back later and you want to make changes you put this back into the computer again scroll down to your application again when you open it the file you will have saved so we go open and the file we're working on is the XYZ school there it is there and you can make appropriate changes as required uh, so that's how simple it is to operate the uh, A4500-4505 programmer.